So we only do a full head to toe bath every two or three days. Um, make sure you have all your supplies ready to go before you start bathing and check the water temperature with your wrist rather than with your hand. It's a better gauge of the temperature. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use our little baby Alice here. And so what you wanna do is just a little bit of warm, clean water. You go from the inside of one eye to the outside of the eye. Use a different portion of the washcloth to the inside of one eye and the outside of the other eye. That helps to prevent any infections from being spread. Then what you wanna do is wipe the rest of the face with that nice, clean, warm water and underneath the chin as well. From there, you can move on to using your baby formulated soap. Just put a little bit on the washcloth. And then what you wanna do is move from the hand up to the trunk. Same for the bottom, for the other arm. And then wash the baby's trunk. What you can do is then take another clean washcloth, get that wet, and rinse everything off. Then you can pat baby dry with a towel or a blanket. Make sure you get in all the creases underneath the arms, anything like that where moisture can build up and cause a rash. Then you can lay a nice warm towel or blanket over top of baby to keep that upper half dry and warm. Then move down to the feet, same idea. Taking the soapy washcloth, washing from the feet, up to the torso, other foot, up to the torso, and then that diaper area from front to back. Always keeping everything from cleanest to dirtiest area as much as you can. Rinse off that bottom half, and the same idea, just patting dry, making sure you get all those skin folds. Then you can also gently turn baby and wash the bath. You do want to wash around the umbilical cord with some soap and water. Rinse that off and make sure that's nice and dry. Then at the end of the bath, you can wrap baby up in a nice warm towel. And wash baby's hair and it really helps to soothe them after the bath. Okay, so you can have that baby soap there. And you can even run a comb through if you'd like. What you do want to wash every day is around baby's mouth where they might have some spit up or some drips from feeding and around the umbilical cord with a little bit of soapy water. Again, making sure that's nice and dry. You want to do the sponge bathing for the first week or two until that umbilical cord comes off. If the baby's been circumcised, same idea, about a week um, until that circumcision has a chance to heal. After that, the baby can go into a tub get more of a submersion bath, which is a little more comfortable, helps to keep their temperature nice and warm. Again, just keeping in mind, baby's not getting really dirty, so trying to do this pretty quickly so that baby stays nice and warm. Always make sure you have all your supplies within arm's reach. If you do forget something, just take baby with you, make sure you wrap them up, keep them nice and warm, um, but that way you can go and get your supplies that you need.